back for another grocery haul. Today I'm at Aldi and I'm gonna do some pickup. Uh, not necessarily pick up from like the curbside or anything, but I'm actually gonna go inside and pick up some items I made a list for. And so um, once I get home, I'm gonna show you guys everything that I picked up and it shall be good. Okay, so I just made it home and I actually did stop at HEB as well. So I'm just gonna show you guys just the food items since this is a grocery haul, but I stopped at Aldi and I also stopped at HEB. So let's go ahead and check out some finds that I found this time. Okay, so here are the items that I got from Aldi. We'll start with Aldi first. So I grabbed some pepper jack cheese and this was a little under $2. I also grabbed some whole milk Greek yogurt. It was a toasted coconut. They were 59 cents each. I did find this, these peppers here. It's um, the yellow, red, and orange bell peppers. So I was really wanting to find that just to add to some more veggies to some dishes I'm doing. Sorry guys, I'm trying to look at my receipt so I can tell you how much this was. This was, I can't find it. This was $2.69. So this was $2.69 at Aldi. I grabbed some broccoli florets. This was uh, under a dollar, it was like 85 cents or 89 cents. Um, I grabbed a new kind of salad. This is a sunflower chopped salad kit. It has green cabbage, green leaf lettuce, red cabbage, carrot, kale, green onion, and also has a sweet onion coleslaw dressing. I'm, I'm kind of a fan of coleslaw, but I was just really curious on how this is going to taste. This was like $2.89 or so. Uh, and also got my famous sweet kale, what I really, really love. I also grabbed some cream cheese. I grabbed some of this cranberry almond with premium white meat chicken. And this right here, I wanna say it was a little under three bucks. This was, do, 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 do. Y'all have to forgive me. I'm trying my best to do better with prices this time. Uh, where is it? This was $3.99, so sorry. This is actually about $4, so this is $3.99. I also got the mild ch uh, cheddar shredded cheese. Uh, this was a little over two bucks too. I grabbed some flounder. This is a wild caught flounder. This flounder was actually, I told y'all I'm trying to look at receipts this time and I am just doing my best with it. Uh, this was $5.19. So the flounder was actually $5.19. And I'm gonna try that out. Um, I grabbed some of these grape tomatoes. I grabbed these avocados. These avocados are about uh, 39 cents each. This asparagus here. This asparagus is a little bit more. It was a little over two bucks. This right here, these pineapple chunks was like $2.09. The berry medley was $1.89. I went ahead and grabbed the honey nut crispy oats i went ahead and grabbed the family size i enjoy eating cereal and especially with me being a single and i don't have to worry about cooking for anybody if i just feel like just eating cereal for dinner you know what it's a good day i'm i'm good to go so i don't have to really worry about anybody but myself with that so this only cost two dollars and 39 cents which i thought for a family size is pretty good it is, let me show y'all how many ounces it is. It is 19.5 ounces. So not bad, not bad at all. It's really cheap and I've always been a huge fan of Honey Nut like Cheerios, but this is like the next best thing. Um, I also grabbed my whole wheat tortillas as under $2. I grabbed this ranch salad seasoning. This was like under 50 cents, really cheap. I grabbed, y'all, y'all have to, Y'all have to mind your girl because I really do enjoy purchasing this coconut water at Aldi right now. Like I told y'all, I mean, the other kind I usually get at, at HEB is like over three bucks. This is under $3 each. And so I grab three of these. I want to say it was like $2.69 or so. I also like to keep uh, like a stockpile of chicken broth in my pantry. I was, I have some already in the fridge, but I do plan on cooking some things. I need chicken broth this week. So I went ahead and grabbed some more. I just don't like running out. I like going to the pantry and finding what I need. Um, 
I got my multi-grain tortilla chips that I really like. I grabbed these pretzel slim thins. I didn't tell y'all last time, but these are actually bite size. So these are actually bite size uh, pretzel thins. And so you can also get the regular size pretzel thins, but I enjoyed the bite side. I don't think I've ever, ever explained that to y'all before, but uh, those pretzel thins are, are really good. And like I said, I like to eat them with like hummus or like uh, salads, like this chicken salad that I purchased over here. I plan on eating it with that, uh, tuna, you name it. And the price of these, let me get my receipt here. The price of these are pretzel, pretzel thins. These are $1.99. So these were $1.99 at Aldi, at my local Aldi. I grab again these Herndez Salsa Verde Mild. Someone had commented last week and I really appreciate it. They said they love the Herndez uh, I think it's the gro salsa guacamole or something like that. I, I did see it at my Aldi, but it said medium and I may be a wimp. I'm sorry, <laughs> but I don't like things extremely spicy. So I was afraid it was going to be too spicy for me. I should have just been a champ and just picked it up so I can let y'all know. Cause I, I really appreciate that subscriber that recommended it. So, um, you know what? I apologize. I'm going to try it out next time. I'm going to be I'm going to be brave and I'm going to try the medium uh, guacamole next time. And I love guacamole too, by the way. Um, I also grabbed this extra virgin olive oil. I grabbed this as well. Um, I Sometimes I get the regular olive oil, but y'all know it's heavier. So the extra virgin olive oil, I mean, it's still kind of a heavy oil, but it's lighter than your regular olive oil. And this is... Let me show y'all. 16.9 ounces. Best for dip, dipping, dressings, and sauces. I don't think this is cold pressed. I think the other one is, is cold pressed, but um, I'm not too picky with my oils right now. Uh, that was $3.49. So that olive oil there is uh, $3.49. I also got some honey that was a little under two bucks. I grabbed me a can of black beans. This is 59 cents. And I also grabbed some diced tomato. This is about 59 cents too. Uh, when it comes to my canned goods, I, the same thing with the chicken broth. I like to go ahead and stockpile them because you just never know when you need it. And I eat these type of things on a regular. So I eat canned beans and canned tomatoes pretty regularly. So I do do uh, that often so I don't I definitely don't want to run out of things like that and then something else I'm so excited to show y'all that I found da, 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 da. are y'all ready these are Cretors I hope I'm saying it right if I'm not saying it right somebody please put some pronunciation hyphens to help me out but this is handcrafted small batch popcorn cheese and caramel and mix and I know what y'all are thinking Risa they ain't healthy no, it's not, but you know what? Everybody needs cheat day, right? Everybody needs cheat day. I have never seen this at Aldi. Usually when I find stuff like this, I go to Target or I try to find my local H-E-B, like kind of a knockoff brand, but I've never seen these anywhere else. Like, oh my gosh, y'all. Talk about snacking while you're watching a really good movie. I love eating these. Um, you know, it's a hundred gram, a hundred calories per cup, non GMO corn oil, but you know, it's, it's still sweet <laughs> and it's not the healthiest snack, but you know what? I, I, I like to use it for cheat days and right now I'm on spring break. So I thought, why not celebrate my spring break with, you know, eating that. So uh, let me tell y'all how much that was. That was, let me find it on my receipt. Y'all know I'm doing, I'm trying to do a Good job finding things on my receipt. Um, do, 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 do. Thank you for being patient. If you're still here, please subscribe. I really do appreciate all my new subscribers. Um, you guys are the best. Um, I've, I've received a lot of positive feedback from y'all too. I really do enjoy uh, your comments and you know, I, I'm a little shy a little bit somewhat with commenting, you know, so I'll do a better job of commenting back with you guys, but I really do appreciate you guys. If you're new, uh, consider, if you like this video, please like it. Um, if you want to subscribe, subscribe. If you want to 
know more when I post videos, please hit the notification bell as well. I think you guys are amazing. I really do. And I, I pray for y'all too. Um, I am a Christian and I, I do believe in the power of prayer. So I do pray for y'all um, because I know God led y'all to my channel for a reason. And, you know, whatever I can do to pour out to help you and your family with budgeting or not, well, saving money. I call this part of budgeting is saving money on groceries, you know, and sharing what I find. Um, you know, I, I think that it's positive and we need unity in this nation. So let's let's just continue to be positive and be supportive of each other. And I really do appreciate y'all. I really do. Um, sorry, I, I got on a, on a thing there, but I, I feel like I need to say that. I just saw how much it was and then I can't find it. <laughs> ah, where is it? Okay, I found it. Okay, so this is two eighty eight. So these were two eighty eight, and the, like I said, they're like at Target, like over three bucks, like three twenty nine plus tax or something. And I always buy it just because I'm desperate. But um, this also was two eighty eight. So two eighty eight, like under five bucks, you know, for a quality type snack. I felt like you know what the splurge is worth it. So this was the Aldi haul. Again, I'm just showing you guys what I got as far as food. I did show a video about my beauty and cleaning products. I'm gonna put a card here somewhere so you can check that out and watch it um, as well if you want to. And so let's go ahead and spin to the uh, HEB haul this time. Okay, so here is my HEB haul. As you guys can see, it's a lot uh, smaller than what I typically do. That's because I was able to find a lot of things at Aldi and also from my other grocery haul, what I'm finding is, you know, I'm, I'm actually still using some items from that haul. So it's just like, well, no reason for me to overspend and repeating buying the same things over and over. Um, I just rather just use what I got and just add a little bit to it. So that's saving me tremendously. Plus it's allowed me to stay under my grocery budget. So it's been really nice. Um, also I wanna go ahead and point out to you guys that I am just, um, I, I really like to get my produce and meats at HEB. Um, nothing gets Aldi or at all. I just prefer to get those kind of items at H-E-B. Now I do grab avocado there. I do do the bag salads. I mean, it's very minimal, very minimal things that I get as far as produce and meats. Um, if there happen to be a really good buy, then I'll pick it up. But for the most part, you probably notice I get a lot of those items from H-E-B. Okay, so I grabbed some taco seasoning, low sodium, and this was about like 37 cents. I grabbed some packs of gum. This was each Okay, so this was a dollar each. I also grabbed some light tuna and water. This is about 80 cents each. I grabbed these sausage here. This is a regular premium sausage. And this sausage was like $2.99. And I also grabbed another ground turkey, 85% lean, 15% fat. And that was also $2.99. I grabbed some eggs. I grabbed the large one and a half dozen eggs. And the eggs were actually $1.87. I grabbed my pizza, I only grabbed one this time. Um, this is just something quick, I can just throw in the oven. This was $5.98, it, was it wasn't on sale this time. I grabbed some of this uh, rigatoni uh, pasta noodles, and these noodles, they were like uh, 82 cents. Now, someone, thank you so much for the person who corrected me when it came to the TikTok video I was trying to explain to y'all with the pasta and the tomatoes and I said cream cheese that because I forgot it was not cream cheese. It was actually feta cheese. Don't y'all know I was not able to find feta cheese at Aldi or HEB today. And I forgot to ask someone that works there if they had feta cheese. I completely forgot because I wanted to try that video since it's such a big hit with so many people. I wanted to at least try making it. Um, and so I couldn't find it. So I'm going to have to try to go back to the store and find some feta cheese somewhere. Maybe I'll go to Kroger. Maybe I'll go to Walmart. I don't know. I'll, I'll have to try and see if I can find some. But confession time. I've never bought feta cheese before. So I don't know 
maybe if I was looking in the wrong section, I thought it was a cheese section. Then I checked in like the delicacy or delicate type cheeses. I checked in the specialty cheeses. I didn't see it there either at HEB. So I, I don't know, maybe I'm, I just keep missing it. I grabbed some shallot as well that goes with that, that recipe for the um, feta cheese and tomato and pasta that, that's like everybody's raving about on TikTok. Um, I also got the tartar sauce. I usually make my own tartar sauce. It's pretty easy and simple, but I thought this time I'll just buy some. And this was 188 and I also got some mayonnaise. And I do have some mayonnaise in the pantry, but I am starting to get low, especially with me making the things I make uh, with mayonnaise. Um, I went ahead and grabbed this and this was one, 128. And so this was my grocery haul for HEB right here. Okay, so that concludes my grocery haul for this week. I'm not gonna call it a two week grocery haul because it seems like I'm still, I'm running over with groceries. And so I'm just gonna call it grocery hauls from now on unless something changes. But thank you so much for watching my video. I really hope these finds that I have will give you some ideas of things that you can purchase at these stores if you have these stores near you. Um, things that can help you save money to save time um, that are cheap and reasonable in price. Um, and this content is for everybody. It's for singles, it's for married couples, it's for couples with children, it's for grandparents. I mean, it's for anybody. So I really hope that these hauls are helping you guys. The part of this channel is about planning. And so, um, you know, us all on this debt-free journey for most of you, um, it's really nice to go ahead and plan your meals out. I didn't show that part in this video. I just kind of did it in my head this time and I wrote a couple of things down on a sheet. But anyways, thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you guys are having a great day. Please uh, be safe, be blessed, and have a wonderful day. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.